so we'll discuss question number 41 in this question it is given that mod z is greater than or equal to 2 and we have to find the minimum value of mod z plus half so if we look at the problem geometrically mod z greater than or equal to 2 represents the exterior of the circle whose center is at 0 comma 0 and whose radius is 2 so this point is 2 comma 0 and this is minus 2 comma 0 so the locus is basically the exterior of the circle and we have to find mod z plus half so if z is some point in the locus and this is minus half comma 0 then mod z plus half is this distance so if i have to minimize this distance then the minimum distance will occur when z will arrive at point minus 2 comma 0 therefore mod z plus half minimum is obviously equal to minus 2 plus half ka mod which is equal to 3 by 2 so if you look at the options uh, the option number 2 is the most appropriate option because 3 by 2 belongs to the open interval 1 comma 2 so the correct option is option number 2 question number 42 in this question f dash x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x ki power 5 and g is given to be the inverse of f and we have to find g dash x we have to find g dash x now f of g of x is equal to 1 as they are inverse of each other if we differentiate we get f dash g x into g dash x equals to 1 f of g x is x actually so if i differentiate f dash g x into g dash x is equal to 1 and f dash is given therefore f dash g of x is equal to 1 upon 1 plus g x key power 5 into g dash x that makes it 1 therefore g dash x is equal to 1 plus g x power 5 so the correct answer is fourth option question number 43 is actually based on product of determinants we are given a function fn equal to alpha n plus beta n putting the value of n as 1 2 and 3 and substituting in the determinant we will get determinant 3 1 plus alpha plus beta 1 plus alpha square plus beta square second row 1 plus alpha plus beta 1 plus alpha square plus beta square 1 plus alpha cube plus beta cube and the last row 1 plus alpha square plus beta square 1 plus alpha cube plus beta cube last element 1 plus alpha 4 plus beta 4 so we can split this determinant as a product of two determinant which are determinant 1 1 1 1 alpha beta 1 alpha square beta square and the same determinant 1 1 1 1 alpha beta 1 alpha square beta square the same can be cross checked by multiplying these two determinants like we can do it first row with first row it will give 3 first row with second row so 1 alpha and beta likewise all the nine elements so finally the result is square of this determinant 1 1 1 1 alpha beta 1 alpha square beta square whole square so this is a standard result it can be expanded like 1 minus alpha square 1 minus beta square alpha minus beta whole square so according to the question we have to find the coefficient k which clearly this expression indicates k equal to 1 so option 3 is correct question number 44 is a straightforward question of trigonometric functions 
a function is given f k x as 1 by k sin to the power k x plus cos to the power k x and we have to find the simplified value of f 4 x minus f 6 x. It means we have to put the value of k as 4 in this expression minus value of 6 in this expression which will give sin to the power 4 x plus cos to the power 4 x upon 4 minus sin to the power 6 x plus cos to the power 6 x by 6. So, what we can do is we can apply a square plus b square in this which is a plus b whole square minus 2 a b and in this term a q plus b q which is a plus b whole cube minus 3 a b a plus b. So, it will be sin square x plus cos square x whole square minus 2 sin square x into cos square x divided by 4 and the second term a cube plus b cube which will be a plus b whole cube it means sin square x plus cos square x cube minus 3 a b which is sin square x cos square x into a plus b which is sin square x plus cos square x divided by 6. So, in this step sin square x plus cos square x can be replaced by 1. So, 1 minus 2 sin square x into cos square x by 4 minus 1 this will be 1 minus 3 sin square x cos square x. Also the last term is 1 divided by 6. So, in this step we can very easily take the LCM and it can be very clearly seen 6 into 2 12 4 into 3 is also 12. So, they get cancel out and the final result is 1 by 12 which means option 4 is 